All right, so I just went for a run and I'm feeling feeling good, but I just wanted to make this video. There might be some noise, I know, with my jacket, but I, I feel like wearing the jacket because I just went for a run. But I kind of want to just talk about like just trusting the process. So as you're kind of going through your journey, there's going to be a lot of obstacles. There's going to be a lot of things that are going to that are, that are going to hold you back. But the reality is you just got to trust your process. And I always think about like, when I first started going to the gym or that when I first started exercising, I felt really insecure. I felt invisible. I felt like nobody was paying attention. I felt like I could never get to the point, a point where I wanted to be. And there was a couple tweaks that I made in my life in just in my routine. And those routines really, really changed everything for me. And as a result, I started to actually see results in my fitness. And not only that, it came to a point where I never actually went back, right? Even if I lose weight, like if I'm underweight, I can get back to my, my ideal weight. If I'm a little bit over, I can get back to my ideal weight. So I started to understand how to actually do it. Now, the same thing for me right now is in terms of my business, right? I'm working on my business, I'm actively working on my business. This is the first time in my life where it's starting to actually make sense. Like this business is actually starting to make sense before it just didn't make sense. And I feel like I'm almost there. I've almost passed that hump. And I've, I I can't say much about it yet, but I feel like once I've succeeded in that state of my life, I'll it's like kind of like I can't I'm, it's going to be hard very hard to look back. Even if I want to start a new business, I'll be able to find ways to succeed in that business. The same thing is in my relationships, you know, my love life, right? Obviously, I'm married. Some of you know that already. There was a time when I was constantly getting rejected by women. I just couldn't. I was getting friend zoned. I was getting rejected. Nobody wanted to be with me. And then I just kind of trusted my process. I worked on myself. I worked on my health. I worked on just me. And doors started to open. And I started to get more and more options to the point where it kind of just when it happened, it happened. And I'm happy with it. So. The, the point of this video is simply trust your process. I know it's not easy right now. Maybe you have debts. Maybe you're maybe you're very sick. And I, if you're sick, I, I, I pray that, uh, that you get Shifa, right? Um, may Allah give you Shifa. Maybe you're just struggling like financially. Maybe you're struggling with everything in your life. Maybe you're just not in shape. Maybe you're single and you really want someone in your life the reality here is you can just trust your process trust your process you will get there you will get to that point just trust your process there's gonna come a time where it's gonna seem natural to you and that's when that's when it makes all the difference because let me let me give you this example for those of you who had first jobs like maybe you're a cashier or you worked at uh, a fast food place or a restaurant, right? When you first worked at that place, you didn't know anything. You were just there, right? You were just nervous. You're scared. You're like, ah, like this. But at some point, you start to become efficient. You start to learn. You start to figure it out. It starts to become autopilot. The same thing comes with a lot of your, your goals. There's going to be a little bit of discomfort that's going to come into it. There's going to be a lot of discomfort. I can't say a little bit. There's going to be a lot of discomfort that's going to come into it. But at some point, something starts to make sense, something starts to click, and then it starts to become autopilot. Sorry, my lips. <laughs> but a lot of parts of my life has been very similar. Where um where I mean where I, what I mean by that is when for me a lot of parts of my life have been similar in the sense that there's been a lot of times where like my says my fitness, my love life, you know, my right now business, right? in terms of like even investments, right? I learned a lot about investments and I kind of know how to get back, you know, once I'm back uh, like thriving in this business or just in business in general, right? Even your social skills, right? For, I, for me, it's like, I'm not the most social person. Like I'm, I'm pretty, I like to be by myself, this and that, but when I'm in a social situation, I can kind of switch if I want to. So if I don't want to switch, I don't have to, but if I want to, I can, I know how to switch. I know how to be like very charismatic. So, that's the biggest thing, right? Even with this channel, with the videos I make, I know I'm not getting a lot of views, but 
I know something is gonna click eventually. I see that there's always one new subscriber, you know, every one or two days. I see that I'm getting new follower on Instagram, new connection. I'm seeing I, I'm getting new follower on Snapchat. And I've, I just checked my email list the other today and I saw that there was people that were in my email list. So it's, it's slowly but surely, that's how you build, right? You gotta build it one day at a time and that's really what you have to do. So that's really what I wanna talk about. Just trust your process. I know it's not easy, but you will get there. And when you do, let me know. So don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to stay authentic. Peace.